December 22nd, Italy. A backyard astronomer points a 25-centimeter telescope at empty space and captures something most people will never notice. Two tracks, both moving, one short and diffuse, one long and perfectly straight. The short one? That's 3i Atlas, an interstellar visitor, now two astronomical units from Earth, still holding structure when it should have faded weeks ago. The long one? An artificial satellite, human-made, predictable, ordinary, and right there in one single frame you can see the difference between what we built and what came from somewhere else. But that's not the big news today. Today, we got results from the first ever dedicated radio search of an interstellar object. Scientists aimed the Allen Telescope Array at 3i Atlas and scanned 74 million signals looking for one thing, proof of transmission. What they found or didn't find just changed the conversation completely. If you want the truth, no hype, no clickbait, just what actually happened in the last 24 hours, stay with me. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, go full screen. Because what I'm about to walk you through is the most careful scientific test ever performed on an object from beyond our solar system. And the results? They matter more than you think. Let's start with that December 22nd image from Italy. It's not fancy, no color processing, no enhancement filters. Just a clean observational frame stacked on the stars, not the object. That's why you see two tracks. The shorter, diffuse one belongs to 3i Atlas moving against the background stars. Faint, spread out, natural motion. The long, perfectly straight line cutting across the frame? That's an Earth satellite, artificial, constant velocity, zero deviation. Now here's why this matters. When you see them side by side like this, the difference becomes obvious. The satellite is too perfect. Straight line, no variation, machine precision, 3i Atlas, it's messier. The track shows slight irregularities. The brightness fluctuates. It's moving through space the way natural objects move, responding to forces we can measure but not perfectly predict. And yet, for something that's supposed to be a dying comet this far from the sun, it's still there, still visible, still trackable. Most comets at 2 AU post perihelion have already faded into background noise. The activity drops, the coma collapses, the whole show ends. 3i Atlas didn't get that memo. It's still producing enough material to show up on backyard equipment under less than perfect conditions. That alone should tell you something's different here. But it's not proof, it's just observation. And observation without context is just a pretty picture. So let's talk about what happened when scientists actually tested this thing. The Allen Telescope Array is designed for one purpose, listening. Not for sounds, for signals. Narrowband radio transmissions, the kind that can't be produced by natural astrophysical processes, the kind that would stand out against background noise like a laser pointer in a thunderstorm. Shortly after 3i Atlas was discovered, a team aimed the array directly at it and scanned from 1 to 9 gigahertz. That's the sweet spot where artificial signals are most likely to hide. The scan produced 74 million initial detections. Let me say that again, 74 million. Now, before you panic, that's completely normal. Most of those signals are garbage. Satellites, aircraft, ground-based transmitters, instrument noise, radio interference from every piece of electronics within a thousand miles. So the team applied a strict multi-stage filter. First, they removed known interference heavy frequency bands, gone, then they filtered for signals whose frequency drift matched the precise motion of 3i Atlas, because if something's transmitting from the object, its signal should move with it as it travels through space. Most of the remaining signals didn't match. Gone. Finally, they compared on-target and off-target beams. If a signal appears when the telescope points at 3i Atlas and disappears when it points away, that's interesting. If it shows up regardless of where the telescope is pointing, it's local interference, gone. After all of that, 201 signals remained, not detections, candidates. Signals worth examining by hand. Every single one of them was inspected individually by human analysts. The result? All 211 were conclusively identified as radio frequency interference, satellites, terrestrial sources, nothing from 3i Atlas, 
zero transmissions detected. Now, here's the part most people will misunderstand. That's not a failure. That's not a letdown. That's science working exactly the way it's supposed to. Because what this result actually did was place the strongest upper limits yet on any possible radio transmitter associated with an interstellar object. Translation, if something is transmitting from 3i Atlas, it's quieter than our best instruments can detect. That doesn't mean there's nothing there. It means if there is something there, it's either off, dormant, or using a method we're not equipped to hear yet. And honestly, that's almost more interesting than a detection would have been. Let's zoom out for a second. We've been tracking this object for months, watching it brighten, watching it fade, watching it hold structure longer than expected, watching its trajectory bend toward Jupiter with precision that makes orbital mechanics people uncomfortable. And now we know it's not broadcasting in the radio spectrum, at least not in any way we can detect with current technology. So where does that leave us? Option one, it's exactly what NASA says. A natural interstellar comet with unusual composition and behavior that we don't fully understand yet because we've only ever studied two interstellar objects in human history. Option two, it's something else. Something that either doesn't use radio or uses it so efficiently we can't pick it up. Something quiet. Something deliberate. The data doesn't tell us which one is true, but it does tell us what isn't true. 3i Atlas isn't shouting. It's not broadcasting a beacon. It's not trying to get our attention with radio waves. If it's artificial, it's subtle. If it's natural, it's unlike anything we've cataloged before. Either way, we're in uncharted territory. So here's where we are. One new image showing the object still visible at 2 AU, one radio search confirming no detectable transmissions, and a growing pile of observations that don't quite fit the normal comet box but also don't scream alien probe. What happens next? We keep watching. More telescopes, more data, more careful analysis. Because the truth, whatever it is, won't come from one dramatic image or one smoking gun signal. It'll come from months of patient observation, rigorous testing, and honest reporting. If you want me to keep tracking 3i Atlas frame by frame as new images come in, let me know in the comments. If this kind of clean, evidence-based breakdown helps cut through the noise, hit like and subscribe. More data is coming, and we'll follow it one image at a time. I'll see you in the next one.